Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chloe. If you're new, you might be, I don't know. And this is my channel. I am really needing to stop putting my hands in the video because I am still tanned. Today I am going to be showing you, I think it's four looks and one little like trick with the Morphe palette. This is the 350 and I know so far I think four people personally that have this yeah but it is a great palette I love it and if you want it you should get it if you're from the UK it's on Beauty Bay I'll link it down below this is the video let's get on with it hope you enjoy okay so the first look I'm gonna show you is my kind of everyday simple you know like toned down look this is the look I've been doing for work we're not supposed to wear over the top makeup so this is the look I've kind of been doing as like a natural kind of toned down minimal eye look obviously the Morphe palette is quite pigmented if you own this then you know what I'm talking about so to do this look you do have to be quite gentle and you know only a tiny little dip a tiny little dip so the first brush I'm going to use is my Morphe G17 so the first colour I'm going to go into is this colour here I'm just going to do like, this is what I mean by like a, like a tiny tap, so I do like two taps and there's like or three, but I'll still like do a little tap off. So what I'm going to do is just windshield wipers back and forth in my like crease and upper part. So that's the first colour, you can see the difference here. It's not over the top, you know like in your face kind of colour. I would then use a colour that's slightly darker than that, which I think is this kind of colour, and a bit more warmer. And then what I'm going to do is like squish my brush like against my eyelid there and stay here for a bit, and then I'll take it out. And that's just so it doesn't completely cover the other colour and then look all janky. <laughs> And then using my Morphe E18, I'd go into a dark colour, but not really dark. I'm probably going to go for, I'm going to go for this colour. And where I'm going to go first is just on my outside crease here. And then I'm going to go into the same colour again. I'm just going to pop it on my outer lid. And then I'm going to take my fluffy brush again and just go over this a little bit just to make sure there's no harsh lines. So this is it with the two colours and then the deep colour in my crease and outer edge. We're not going to leave this lid bare. I like to have a bit of shimmer just to, you know, jazz it up a little. I literally just take the flat brush I usually use and I also go in to this colour, which in the pan, which is not going to show up on here, but it's like a cream and then with pink reflex and it's beautiful. It just hasn't got like a base colour to it. I'll show you. I'll put it on and I'll show you. And what I'm going to do is just tap it on the bare bit of my eye. So I don't know if you can tell what I mean now, where there's no like base colour. You can see the colour of my skin. There's this like really nice pink reflex shimmer, but it's not over the top. It's not in your face. It's just, you know, it's just chilling. It's just chilling. And then I'm just gonna go under the bottom with those same base colours. And then you could leave it there if you like. I like to go in with the dark colour and stay super close to my waterline. And I only stay on this outer, outer portion. I'm just gonna take some of that chocolatey colour and just add it again to the outer portion. Okay, so that's the look. I'm gonna go do my other eye and pop some mascara on and just show you how it looks when I'm, when I'm finished. I finished my other eye and did my mascara, I also put a bit of lipstick on. This is my eyes. As you can see, it's just a normal, pretty, everyday kind of look. It's very natural, it's very neutral as well. So yeah, that's this look. And I hope that you guys try this look. And on to the next one. Okay, so for the second look, this is completely different to the first one polar opposites this is going to be kind of the look I would do on a night out so I've got my face ready I know I'm looking pretty ghostly right now that's because of all the powder I've got on I'm not wearing any powder contour or blush or highlight or anything because I'm actually going to show you that this has it all in here so I'm going to be doing like a kind of bronzy look for, you know, like your nights out where you want to look quite tan and snatched. So 
That's why I'm using the Morphe palette. There are a lot of browns and browns, so I've got all my necessary brushes that I need right now. So first I'm going to be doing some bronzing. So rather than just going for like a normal brown, I'm going to go for quite a warm brown. But as I've said before, the Morphe palette is very pigmented, so I'm going to do like the lightest tab and build up if, if necessary. So in that colour I'm literally just one and you can see quite a lot of the product on there so so when I bronze I typically go in the areas I would contour but not as precise so I'll kind of like rather than doing here I'll kind of do here <laughs> okay so that's one side it's, it's done a nice job of warming up this side so I'm gonna try it on my forehead now chin and then literally the tiniest bit on my nose so I've bronzed half of my face, and although it doesn't look obviously, I feel like if I had done both sides, you wouldn't be able to see the difference as much, because obviously I'm quite pale. When I bronze, I have to be so careful, otherwise I can end up looking really muddy. I'm going to quickly bronze the other side of my face, and then I'm going to come back and show you how to contour with this palette. Okay, so that's my face nice and bronzed, looking like I've got some life in me again. So now I'm going to try and contour with the Morphe palette this one I'm going to take my contouring brush and I'm going to dip really lightly in that I think that's actually worked really well so I'll look at you face on I've contoured here and not contoured here I'm pretty happy with that I mean in all honesty I kind of kind of like that a bit more than my current contour so just going back into that same color and I'm just gonna contour my forehead so I normally stick quite close to my hairline when I contour my forehead just because I don't think my forehead needs contouring that much I just kind of it's quite square and I like to try and make it look a bit more rounded then I would contour my jawline so and then I contour I'll contour my nose I don't know how I'm gonna do this half and half but I'm gonna try it anyway Okay, so I've contoured this side of my nose. Personally, I think it looks quite natural. So I've contoured everywhere I normally contour. But yeah, so I'm going to quickly contour this side of my face and we'll come back and blush. Alrighty, so I've contoured everywhere else on my face. I'm just baking under my contour at the moment. I like to, especially if I'm going out, bake under it just to make it a bit more sharper, just to clean up the edges. So whilst that's baking, I'm going to get my blush brush and do a bit of blusher. Obviously, there's no real blush colours in here. There's no pinks, there's no mauves or anything like that. So what I'm going to be doing, because this is a bronzy look, I'm going to use this colour as a blush. So I'm going to dip my brush ever so carefully in there. You can see the difference. Yeah, so that's the like orange blush which I've been so into recently. That is a beautiful colour for it. Which is really good with like, bronzy looks anyway. But I think this looks really nice you can't see like a clear line between my bronze contour and blush so that's quite nice and it adds a bit of color to my face I'm just gonna wipe away that so you can see the lines a bit sharper so I'm just gonna blush the other side so now the last thing for my base is a highlight I'm gonna try and highlight with this gold color here it's still quite light so hopefully it won't look absolutely ridiculous so I'm using my elf highlighting brush I literally tapped it in once look how much product that picked up and then I'm just going to brush it along my cheekbones like I normally would. Okay, so it hasn't actually shown up all that much. So I am going to go in with a little bit more. It's quite a light colour. I mean, it's, it has highlighted. You can see it. I really thought it would look like awful on me, but it's actually been quite light. So I'm just going to keep trying to build it up. Okay, well, that's going to have to do for now. The other places I highlight are just here on my forehead. You can see like the shimmer, but you can't really tell that it's gold. I guess you can a bit there. Okay, and then the other places I highlight are obviously like my nose, the bridge of my nose. I can't do half and half there, so I'm just going to do it normal. I'm going to use my pinky in it, picking up a tiny bit, which actually looks really nice, and the bridge. And then on my cupid's bow, just going to do the same thing, but on my finger. I think it's come up on my cupid's bow the most. But I think you can see the gold the most, at least in person you can. And then using the brush again, just a little bit on my chin. 
So you can definitely tell the difference between each side, obviously here. So this side, there's not really much highlight there. There you can see a highlight. It's just not that like dazzling. So I'm gonna do the other side. Okay, so I've highlighted the rest of my face. I'm thinking about putting a bit of like a more icy color on top. So I am gonna go with that color here, just a tiny bit. Okay, so that is tons better. See that side? Compared to this side. Do you look pretty, yeah? I always look pretty, bitch. Yeah. Okay, so I've just highlighted the rest of my face, as you can tell. Look at it on my cupid's bow. Oh my god, that's stunning. So what I'm going to do now is do an eye look with this palette. For going out looks, I normally like to go over the top. So for the main colour of the eye is this colour. So that's the like first colour down. And then I'm just going to go for a slightly darker colour. This, this is really similar to the first look I did. But obviously a bit more intense, a bit darker, a bit more bronzy. The colour I use to bronze, this one here in the palette. Press this to my eye first, flatten it. Okay, so that's that darker brown down. I think I'm going to go with another chocolatey colour. I'm going to go for this one, and this one has a bit more, like this one's a bit more ready. Just pressing it down, keeping it there. So then for the last colour for like my crease area, I'm going to go for quite a dark one. This colour here. So I'm taking my Morphe E18 Day on my outer V. So that's all those colours down. And then what I'm going to do is cut my crease. So now I'm going to use a flat, kind of similar to the one just before, but it's bigger. The colour I'm going for is this bronzy gold because it's beautiful it's gold and it's bronzy so i'm going to spray my brush with my pixie glow mist which is severely running out this is probably going to be the last thing i use it on so yeah there's quite a lot of product in there so i'm just going to dab this all over there and then i'll start kind of whatever this thing's called again because i forgot i'm just going to take my e18 again Go into that same colour I used to darken, and I'm just going to go over that area. So there's my lid. I'm just going to do the underneath. Use the same colours I used here, but underneath. Hey, hello. Are you going somewhere? Yeah, I'm leaving you. What are you spraying deodorant on for? I think. It's like six o'clock at night. Yeah, I don't want to smell. Weird. So I'm just going to add that same kind of goldy colour that I use for my highlight on the inner corner and under my brow. And then I'm just going to run away and do my other eye, add on any extra pieces and then I'll come back and show you the finished look. I've put some lashes on. I've also put some black eyeliner on top and bottom. I put the top just to kind of blend these in with the rest of my eyes. So yeah, this is the finished look for this one and this is kind of a full face using the 350 Morphe palette onto the next one. So the third look I'm going to be doing with the 350 Morphe palette, I'm going to be doing a halo eye and I decided to do kind of a chocolatey halo eye. I'm gonna go into some of these oranges first, I think probably the lightest one first. So I'm just tapping into that first color and what I'm gonna do is kind of like pat it on the outer corner and then also in the inner corner. So what you're doing with halo eyes if you haven't done one before, I genuinely tr try and make this kind of shape. So normally if you do your eyeshadow anyway, you'll normally go for this kind of sweeping motion back and forth. It's exactly the same, but you'll do the outer side of your lid as well as the inner side. Okay, so that first color's down and this is quite a muted orange. So I'm gonna go into the next orange, which is a bit brighter, directly above the one I used. Okay, I'm going to dip ever so lightly into this colour. Switching brushes, I'm going into my Morphe E18 and I'm going to go into this kind of warm chocolate. I'm dipping into that and I'm sticking this solely on the outer, inner and then crease. I found a sulky. Oh, thank you. Not yours, Greg. Oh. 
Nice so that's all the prep work around it done. Before I put the shimmer down, I'm gonna put a bit of concealer down. So that's literally where that color's gonna go. The other colors that's gonna go down there is this one. So I'm just picking it up with a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm just gonna place it exactly where that concealer is, so. Hmm. This eye look hasn't exactly turned out the way I wanted it to. This eye color, this eye shadow is a bit darker than I thought it'd be. And I really wanted this line here to stand out more than it has. So what I'm gonna do with the same brush, I'm gonna go into a lighter color. So I'm going into this very icy color. No, this one. This is literally just for that line. I'm literally just gonna stick it. Oh my god, I hate this. This looks like dog shit. <laughs> okay, this look didn't exactly turn out the way I wanted it to but basically what I did after I put that horrible white on it just looked really gross I went over it with concealer and then I quickly just popped that there in the same place and then popped a bit more of this in the center and it kind of looks like this but I just kind of really hate it it does not I don't hate it this is this is fine but it just doesn't look the way I actually wanted it to okay I'm just gonna go finish off my eyes by popping some eyelashes on some mascara and all that jazz and I'll be back Okay, so this is the finished look. I'm still... I still don't know if I like it or not. Like, it doesn't look bad, but it does not look the way I wanted it to. And on camera, I kind of look like I got two raccoon eyes. I'm not... I don't know. I think I'm going to tweak this a bit more and see what I can do. I think this eye is worse than this eye as well. This eye's fine, but... I don't know. I'm having, I'm having serious... You know, I'm really on the fence about this look. But I hope it taught you something... So yeah, on to the next look. Okay, so for this look, I'm gonna be doing two different, not two different looks, the same look, but with like a different variation. So I'm gonna be doing a brown smoky eye with like an orange tint, I don't know what you wanna call it, like hue. And on one eye, the brown's gonna be matte, and on the other, it's gonna be shimmery, just so, you know, it's either way, if you're more of a matte girl, if you're more of a shimmer girl, or if you just like both. Maybe you can do both on both eyes, I don't know why. So I'm just going to go in with the very, very light yellow. This one here. Okay, so I've just done the same thing on the other eye because everything's the same up until, like, the brown. I'm just going to go in with the next orange and that is, rather than this one, I'm going with this one because it's got a bit more, like, a red to it and I like it. Okay, so I've done the same on the other side, and I'm just wiping off any excess on my brush, on my bed, like I usually do. And I'm just running it through here, just to make sure there's no harsh edges or anything like that. Just making sure those two colours blend together as beautifully as they can. Right, now for the fun part. So on this eye is the matte colour, because this is autumn, and this is an autumn-y kind of look, I guess. I am going to be going with more cool colours, so I'm going with this one first. And I'm just going to take some of that on a flat brush, which is another one that's been stained. And I'm going to pack it on my lid. Okay, so that looks real gross at the moment. I'm taking this brush, my Morphe E18 without anything on it, and I'm just running it through the crease. Just to try and make these colours blend together. Okay, I'm going to take a tiny bit on the brush. Literally taps it in once and then tap some excess off. And I'm just going to go in again. Keep putting some on my lid until I get the desired opacity that I want. And then I'll just do the same thing. And then that orange has really, you know, ran away with this. So I'm just going to get a bit and put it back through my crease. And then I'm going to take that same colour that we started with, that really light orange, on my E18. And pop it under. I'm bringing it down quite low. And then the same thing with the like ready orange. And then I'm gonna take that same flat brush with the same dark and try and stick it real close to the waterline. Like so. So this is the matte side. This side, I'm gonna take that same flat brush. The color I'm taking, and I think this is the same. Correct me if I'm wrong. This one here, I believe. They look so similar, but this one just has glitter in, I think. Let me do a little swatch on the back of my hand. This is the glittery one, although you can't tell. Oh yeah, this one's better. That one's tons better, and there's more of a sheen to this one. So the one just above that is this one. That one has a lot more of a sheen. Okay, so with the same brush, I'm going into the 
shimmery brown, which I think is pretty much the same. So this is the colour we used uh, a minute ago, and then this is the shit like, not shimmery, but like a sheen, sheeny version of it. And just do the exact same thing. Okay, so apparently the sheen is not as evident on the eye as it is in the pan. So what I'm going to do, I know this isn't exactly what I said, I'm just going to get the clear kind of shimmery one. I'm just going to take this one. I'm going to grab that one and pop that on top because this is how I wanted the brown to look. And this is not how the brown looks. Okay, so that's how I wanted the brown to look. See, it has this beautiful shimmer on it. I worked with what I had. And now I'm just gonna do the bottom eye. The bottom eye? I'm just gonna do the bottom line. So like that, and then I'm taking my brush, I'm gonna go into the same shimmer, even though what's the point, and stick real close to my waterline, so. And then with the same brush, I'm gonna go into that like clear shimmer and just pop it on top. So these are the two looks. I'm gonna go and do my finishing touches and then I'll show you the end result. Okay, so this is the finished look. I put some eyelashes on, I put a line of eyeliner on, which I kind of regret. I'll zoom in. I think this look would be better without the eyeliner. I just, I don't know. I just decided to put it on, but yeah, so this is the finished look for this one. I am really happy. I think this is one of my favorites and I actually think I'm gonna be wearing this a lot this autumn. I think it's very pretty and very autumnal. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. So that was the four looks and the little, I don't even know what to call it, like trick. I don't know, <laughs> with the Morphe palette. This is it again and it's a bit grubby already. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, share if you're feeling up for it, that'd be great. And I will see you hopefully next week. The video's over, so go back to your life. We'll go back to YouTube. Bye.